Hey everyone, this is Sharon from Sharon at Sea, and we are back with another SAS Travel Guide series, and today we are going to be talking about Nassau and how to stay safe right after this. So many cruise ships these days are making stops in the Bahamas, and with Nassau being one of the most frequently visited cruise ports by many cruise lines with all the new private islands in the Bahamas that the cruise lines are incorporating into their itineraries, Nassau is chosen as one of the port stops due to the location, even though it is one of the less desirable ones. Nassau has been getting a bad reputation these days due to the concern of safety issues there. And many people also feel like there is a lack of things to do, you know, excursions, activities. In fact, many people don't even get off the ship in Nassau. And that's quite a shame because Nassau actually has so many things to do there. It is quite beautiful. Um, the water is beautiful in a lot of areas. Uh, so I am going to share with you today a few tips and a few places you can go in Nassau so that you can get off the ship, experience a little bit of Nassau, and have a great day and stay safe. And before we get started, if you are into cruising and you like cruise vlogs, cruise tips, reviews, anything cruising, please consider subscribing to our channel and click the notification bell so you will get notified when we post new videos and when we go live. We go live every Monday evening and we love it when you can come join in and we just talk all about cruising. All right, back to Nassau. So we have been guilty of staying on the ship ourselves a couple of times. Not so much for um, fear of safety, it was just because we wanted some more ship time. It might've been a shorter cruise, um, a lot of port stops um, or what have you. So we just decided to stay on the ship. But we have been to Nassau many times. We've had taken several excursions. In fact, one time we even got off the ship, took a local bus for about a 30 minute ride to a resort for the day and um, had a great time. Now, I don't know that I would do that now. Um, I don't know that I'd suggest that now, um, but back then it was quite safe. But like I said, there is a lot to do in Nassau and I'm gonna share a few things with you that um, I have come up with that just are you can pretty feel pretty safe doing them. Now, one thing I do want to stress is do some research. You know, before you go to any port, you should always research what you're going to do, where you're going to go. Um, don't wander off. Be aware of your surroundings, who's around you at all times. And just, um, you know, that is one of the, probably the most important ways to just stay safe. All right, first I'm going to talk just a little bit about um, maybe taking a like sail and snorkel tour. You know, you get off the ship, you, um, We'll be getting on a little boat, going back out to sea on a boat um, with an excursion company and your tour guide. And it's pretty safe. I mean, not too much is gonna happen to you when you're out there. You know, you come back, you get back on the cruise ship. So that is a, a very safe way to go. Just make sure, like I said, do a lot of research on the company and make sure it's a reputable company to go with. Now, if you wanna spin the big bucks, um, a great place to go is Atlantis. It's probably one of the most visited places um, in Nassau. They offer like a full tour of the property. They also have a huge AquaVenture water park. You know, some of the tours include lunch and there is just so much to do there. You can spend the whole day there and still not see everything. And I will put a couple of links in the description box below um, on ways to do Atlantis, maybe a little bit more budget friendly and ways to save a little money there as well. And one way to do that is, I'm gonna actually tell you about it right now, is go book a room at, at the Comfort Inn in Paradise Island there and just one night and they will give you complimentary um, passes to Atlantis, to the water park and you can go check in. You don't even have to go to your room. You don't have to stay there, sleep there, anything. Just check in, get your passes for Atlantis, and then head over to Atlantis. You don't even have to go back and check out. In fact, some people check into the hotel, get their, their passes and things, and they check out right then, and then just go over to Atlantis, and then they don't even have to worry about anything. But you can use the hotel room if you wanna go back and shower or change or anything later too. So it's totally up to you. Um, what you want to use it for but that is a way to save money because it's a little less for a night at the hotel overall than if you purchased all the passes to go into Atlantis. And all guests at the Comfort Inn in Paradise Island will receive complimentary access to a, the Atlantis Resort including the AquaVenture Water Park, Tidal River Rapids, beaches, pools, theater, the dig and other marine habitats. So how great is that? You can receive a lot with that. 
and probably more than you could even see in, the, in a day's time. Now, if you wanna just um, go over to Atlantis on your own and not book a tour, there's a couple of ways you can do it. One way is you can just take a taxi. There are taxis right outside the port. I would suggest you establish a price with your taxi driver prior to getting in the taxi and also be aware that they may charge you a bridge toll as well for getting over there. Another way is take a water taxi and they run about every 30 minutes. I would suggest that you have the correct um, change available for taking the water taxi over there and a tip is appreciated. Um, but that's another option and something that's really kind of a great way to do it is maybe take a taxi one way and the water taxi back the opposite way. That way you can kind of get a view on land and a view at sea. So that's really cool as well. All right, next I'm gonna talk about one of the coolest things ever to do, or at least it is in my books, is swimming with the pigs. You can go over to Exuma and visit Big Major Cave, which is also known as Pig Beach, and you can swim with all the pigs and piglets all day long. And there are a couple companies that will go over there for the day and take you to swim with the pigs. And they also offer some snorkeling um, ex and other excursions as well. And that is Harbor Safaris and Exuma Water Tours. And I will put their links in the description box below. And next, a cool place to go is Blue Lagoon. And you can even swim with dolphins there. It is completely secluded and offers you a true opportunity to just relax in a private, tranquil, natural environment. The island has remained virtually untouched maintaining its lush natural beauty. They offer so many different packages. They have a beach day, they offer a VIP beach day, they have some eco um, walking tours, Segway tours, and don't forget the dolphin encounters. They do have some umbrellas with seating over there, um, although they are limited. Um, there isn't a lot of shade, but for an extra fee, you can purchase a cabana if you like. Um, so that's a nice way to go. Um, they do some of the packages offer lunch and there are bathroom facilities over there as well. So if you want a nice quiet place to just get away and relax, this may be a great option for you. All right, now let's talk a little bit about beaches. A lot of people like to just head to the beach. So one option there, um, probably the closest one from the cruise port is um, Junkanoo Beach. You can actually walk there if you like. Uh, you get off the cruise ship and head right and it's about a 15 minute walk. Um, it, it has free access, there are chairs, there have food available there. Um, of course, some of those extra amenities will um, have an extra charge along with them as well. And if you wanna spend a little bit of money um, and purchase a day pass, you can go to the Hilton Nassau right there off Junkanoo Beach and um, purchase a day pass. Then you'll have full access to all the amenities there. And they also give you, um, last time, well, last time I was there, they gave you a $40 um, food and beverage credit back after purchasing the day pass. So um, I'm not it's not sure what it is now. It was about $82 then and then we got a $40 credit back. So um, you know that makes the day pass a, li a little more reasonable and then you know you're getting that food and beverage credit as well. So that is a really good option. You know everything's clean there. They offer you know you have your chairs, you can use all the facilities and that's really a great safe way to go. Another great um, beach option is Cabbage Beach. And this is right there off Paradise Island. It's kind of a little tricky to get to the entrance. It's kind of off a little dirt road. Uh, but if you, um, you can get there by water taxi or regular taxi. Um, so, but if you ha are taking a taxi over there and you tell them where you're going, they'll know how to get you there. Now Cabbage Beach does offer free access, although they will charge you um, for your chairs and any other amenities that you may want there. Um, one thing I will say is be aware that when entering Cabbage Beach there, there are a lot of vendors right there and they are um, pretty pushy. So, you know, just don't make eye contact and just kind of head on in there and you'll be good to go. Oh, also, you can kind of barter sometimes for your chairs there. So, you know, maybe not pay the first price, you know, try to talk them down a little bit and see if you can, you know, rent your chair there at Cabbage Beach for maybe a few dollars less. So those were just a few of my recommendations for Nassau to try to, you know, get off the ship and do something fun and stay safe while doing it. Um, so I will post some links to companies, reputable companies in the description box below that offer these tours. Uh, and also I will post the link to our travel guide series so that it, you know you may be interested in what to do in some other ports and you can check it out as well. And one more thing I'm gonna add is make sure, most importantly, you do your research. Research is just so important when you're getting off in cruise ports. Um, oh, we have a few places that we do some research at. Our number one place to go to is TripAdvisor. So get on TripAdvisor, you know, type in what you're looking for. Um, one thing I would say is 
there's a little place where you can go and um, click most, free, most recent reviews. Click on that and read the most recent reviews. Don't read them from you know years ago. Um, and then at least read 20 or more reviews because you will find reviews, you know, some people will hate a place, some people will love it, and you're like, you know, how can there be such a difference? But after reading several reviews, you'll kind of get a feel for different people's reviews and you'll kind of feel like where you sort of fit in. You know, like, oh yeah, this sounds more like me, you know, I'm more of a relaxed person or, you know, I worry about this. And, you know, you, you can just kind of kind of get your own opinion and, and know what you feel safe with doing. Also, they have a lot of pictures on there as well. Now, it's always fun to look at the company's pictures, but I suggest you definitely go look at the visitor pictures as well because then you will really get a feel for how things really are. Hope this was helpful, and if you've been to Nassau before, please post in the comments below some of the places you've gone to, you know, whether you've liked them or even if you've disliked them, and tell us why. This will help all of our viewers out there make some great decisions when they go. So thanks for watching, and oh, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, happy cruising.